If you analyze the long-term data of TES, um, you can see clearly that there is a, a reduces a benefit over the time uh, when you implant a second generation DES. And what is worrisome is that uh, there's no plateau in the incidence of these events over time. So we have analyzed over a 20,000 uh, patients that use SDC uh, second generation DES and the, the risk of having a late ischemic events over the period of five years is around two to 2.7%. So um, I think the use of DCV in this scenario is really useful. To my point of view, DCV constitute a safe and effective treatment option to solve complex uh, clinical and anatomical scenarios in a variety population of patients. DCV use are really useful in patients with multivessel disease or patients with a diffuse coronary disease on where you want to reduce the number of extent or the length of metallic scaffold that you're going to implant to the patients. Uh, but also, uh, the use of DCV is really useful in patients with um, CTOs, complex lesions like bifurcations, patients with aneurysms or ectasias, or patients with a complicated and, and difficult clinical profile as patients with high blood risk, on where DAP compliance uh, is an issue in these patients. Uh, but also in patients, um, the really young population of patients that is coming to the cattle lab every single day with really aggressive uh, expression of coronary artery disease and really early expression of, of coronary artery disease. One important thing is that the number and the length of stents matter because they are both recognized as uh, independent predictors for in stent restenosis, stent thrombosis, and late clinical ischemic events at follow-up. Well, the bad choice is important because there is no class effect in, in DCVs. So you need to pick the right device, the device that has proven benefits for a large population of patients and has a lot of, a lot of uh, scientific background uh, behind it. The Sequin Please Me is one of the best uh, devices in the market, has more than 20,000 patients included in clinical trials, more than 35 clinical trials conducted. It's a device that has proven uh, the effectiveness in different clinical scenarios, treating patients with coronary artery disease, but also it's a really safe device. So. Picking the right device is uh, something fundamental to provide the best long-term outcomes for our patients. DCV and stents are complementary devices and not the opposite. So every single interventional cardiology should be used both jointly in the daily practice at the cat lab. The modern toolbox that we need to treat patients or the patients that we are having at the cat lab every day, it's, I would say, it's really complex set have to be implemented with different devices. So you can use uh, DCV only, PCI strategy, or you can use more uh, a modern approach that we call the hybrid PCI, which is a combination of D DES, the latest generation of DES, the second generation, and DCVs. So uh, this is a really important aspect because you have to try to reduce the number of stent, the length of stent, and try to pick a DCB that have proven benefits for the population. Well, in the future, and I think the future is really close, um, the way of thinking and the way of we are going to treat patients, mainly young population of patients, I think it's going to be the opposite. I think we're going to try to use first as a first approach the DCB, trying to avoid implanting a, a metallic scaffold in the coronary arteries. The aim of, of our treatment is to provide the better outcome for our patients have to be a combination of DCVs, in some cases DCVs and DES, but also optimal medical treatment in all our patients. So the current generation of DCV are way better than the first generations of, of DCVs. So this has been proven that uh, when you treat a patient with a DCV strategy, uh, it doesn't matter that if, if an hybrid approach or DCV PCI only, the long-term uh, outcomes uh, benefits are there for the patients. We know that there is no class effect on these devices, so every single device has to be tested in a proper manner. But um, the positive result that we have already 
with uh, a broad population of patients that we have treated with DCB, the data is reassuring. So I think DCB is going to improve over time and the long-term benefit and the result are going to be even better in, in the years to come.